All right. So next on the list, we're going to take a look at the water reservoir tank. And I went ahead and labeled some of these things for you. Up at the top, we have the air intake outlet. This will connect to a quarter inch hose and flow right into the engine's air intake. Down here we have the dry cell outlet. This will also flow through a quarter inch hose to the bottom receiving end of the dry cell. At which point the top receiving end of the dry cell will flow back into the dry cell intake. The gas will accumulate at the top of the chamber due to hydrostatic pressure from the water. At which point, the vacuum from the airflow will draw the hydrogen into the air intake system. We're going to go into a depth, we're going to go into a detailed description of the rest of the parts later.